A bipartisan effort is underway tonight to try to protect children on social media. Two senators have reintroduced legislation that would require sites to make it tougher for young people to access dangerous content. Congressional correspondent Aisha Hosni has details tonight from Capitol Hill. David Molak was just 16 years old when he took his own life. A victim of relentless cyberbullying, his mom says, run rampant on social media. They were targeting his appearance, threatened him, and told him he should never go back to school, put him in a body bag, put him six feet under. His story is one of the many reasons why Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn and Democrat Senator Richard Blumenthal are putting politics aside and reintroducing their Kids Online Safety Act, or COSA, to give parents more control over what their kids see. This is how they're meeting drug dealers. It's how they're learning about how to commit suicide and music to commit suicide to. The bill requires social media platforms to default to stricter settings for users 17 and under. It would also let parents disable features that are addictive and opt out of recommendations made by powerful algorithms. This idea is not red or blue, it's not Republican or Democrat. There's no red or blue algorithm driving toxic content. But the pair face pushback. Last year, about 100 advocacy groups sent a letter to Senate leader Chuck Schumer opposing the bill, claiming it could limit a child's access to sex education or resources for LGBTQ plus youth. But Blumenthal says he and Blackburn have updated the bill, limiting potential harmful content to substance abuse, suicide, and eating disorders. And despite all that, Brett, the ACLU tonight says they are still not happy with this bill. In the meantime, Fox did directly ask Leader Schumer today if he would support this particular bill. He would only go as far as to say that he would like to see some kind of child protections in an online bill. Brett. Aja live on the Hill. Aja, thanks.